I'm your Naples community correspondent Mahmoud Bennett. Days after the crash, the people who live here are still asking the question, how did this happen? So I called an expert to get some possible answers. On I-75, right near mile marker 105, you can still see the aftermath of a plane crash that killed a pilot, co-pilot, and left three others on board running for their lives. In the air traffic control radio recording, minutes before the crash, you hear a pilot say both engines on the Bombardier Challenger 600 had failed. I think it could have been much worse. Stephen Myers is a pilot and the vice president of Elite Jets Charter Service in Naples. He spoke to me about how a dual engine failure can happen. There's a couple of ways that it could happen. Um, whether it's a it could like with Sully, it could be a bird strike, it could be fuel contamination, it could be fuel exhaustion. Uh, it could be any number of things, and I'm not going to speculate. Myers emphasizes that there's no one size fits all in an emergency situation like this. But he says the pilot's response was heroic and that it caused minimal injury on the ground. I don't know why the engines went out. I don't know why if they were making thrust, but evidently the pilot was very calm and cool and collected. And he said he knew what the glide ratio was. He's like, we're not going to make it. And so putting it down on the interstate looks like the best option. Despite the tragedy and the loss of both pilots, Myers tells me flying in the sky is still overwhelmingly safe. He says events like these continuously work as manuals to improve safety in the industry. It's an unfortunate accident and aviation. Uh, it, all the manuals are written in the blood of those that died earlier or that are previous accidents. And so I think that the understanding that aviation is still a huge, hugely safe uh, mode of transportation. Reporting in Naples, Mahmoud Bennett, Fox 4.